All we need are these two facts here. And it's interesting, I've looked around and seen a variety of different answers. I'm going to draw a line that does two things. Number one, it's always going to stay positive, so it's always going to be up here. Okay, this is my gradient, right? And the other thing it's going to do, and this is the thing I've missed, have a look closely at what you've drawn in red or equivalent. Is your red graph, your gradient, is it decreasing? Because it needs to get shallower and shallower and shallower. That's what it represents, right? So when I put those two together, I get something like this. Can you see how that red line, or that red curve, I should say, it fits both of my qualities, right? Number one, it's always positive. You see, it stays up above, right? I mean, it gets pretty low, but that corresponds to the fact that this thing gets pretty flat, right? Flat means low gradient, okay? But it's decreasing. I noticed a lot of you did something a bit like this. It's like, oh, I think it just kind of follows, right? But if it does that and goes up, you're getting steeper and steeper and steeper, steeper if that's what the gradient is doing. But you all told me it's getting shallower and shallower and shallower. So shallower gradient corresponds to a lower value for my red graph. Now, we're going to prove this in a second, but I wonder what you think the equation of that red line is. We're going to prove this dy on dx equals something you know, something that looks quite familiar. So what I'm going to get you to do, I don't want to spoil anyone, but because you, you see what I think about spoilers, I'd love you to jot an idea, anything. Doesn't matter how ridiculous or crazy it is, but if you see this graph, what do you think that looks like? Is there any graph you know about that matches this kind of shape? I'll give you a second to do that. I need a bit more space on the board, so I'm going to wipe this off. Underneath here, make this subheading with me, proof. We're gonna go, I mean, visuals are cool, but they're kind of like, I think this might be what it is. If I really wanna know, you've gotta start inter you know, interacting with the algebra. So that's what we're about to do. Now, just like we went and looked at exponentials visually and then said, what can we look at logs visually? I'm gonna do the same thing with the algebra. I'm gonna start with the exponentials algebraically, and then we're gonna to move to the logs, okay? So, start off with a nice, easy result that you guys all know, right? If I have just stock standard exponential function, then its derivative should be what? This is the one we know, right? Shout it out at me, you, can, you all know. E, e to the x, right? Okay, cool. So this is the easy bit, right? Now what I wanna do is I wanna say, well, this is all in exponentials. How do I get this in terms of logs? So the first step is gonna be, let's have a look at this, right? How would I rewrite this as a log equation. You've been doing this quite a bit, right? I'll give you a clue. It starts with the word log. What am I gonna write next? Have a think. The base here is gonna come from the, the base there, right? The base becomes the base. So this base E will become this base E. That okay? And then what happens to the other two numbers? They just switch around. They just switch around, right? This is the whole inverse idea, right? So this becomes an X this becomes a y. Is that okay with you? So, uh, sorry, have I done that right? No, it's the other way around. Uh, this becomes an x, this becomes a y. The subject of the equation used to be y, now the subject of the equation is x. Okay. Now we're going to do one more thing that's a bit unfamiliar over on this side, which is, see how we're trying to like reverse things around here? I'm going to reverse things around here as well. This is a fraction, dy on dx. I'm going to turn it upside down, like so. dx on dy. So I've taken the reciprocal of the left-hand side. What should I do with the right-hand side? I just take the reciprocal, just like I did before. It's 1 over e to the x. You okay with that? All right, now watch closely. In fact, for this part, I'm just going to ask you to put your pens down, because blink and you will miss it, okay? This is weird. This is x equals log y. The thing I want to understand, uh, this color, the thing I want to understand is y equals log x. That's the thing I really want to understand, okay? So in other words, it's this thing, but everything switched around, okay? So in a new color, watch this. It won't go away, so you can write it down in a second. I'm gonna switch all my x's and y's, okay? So watch what happens when I go from here to here. Okay, blink and you'll miss it. Switching my x and y's, I'll get log base e of x equals y. So this is a whole new equation. These two equations are the same one, dressed up differently. But this one, I'm doing something new. I'm gonna keep on swapping 
x's and y's. What do I get over here? dx on dy becomes dy on dx. Just done a switch, right? And then lastly, 1 over, not e to the x, 1 over e to the y. Following so far? Okay, hold on a second. What does this mean? If I do the same thing, I'm now sort of like doing the same thing but backwards, okay? This is going to give me a different exponential equation. Not y equals e to the x, but x equals e to the y. See that? Is everything swapped? Does this look familiar? If x equals e to the y, I don't have to write this as 1 over e to the y. I can just write that as 1 over x. That's what it's equal to. Did I say blink and you'll miss it? You know what this graph is? Looks a whole lot like this red line, doesn't it? At least half of it, yeah? Usually we would say, oh, there's this other branch, yeah, over here. But if you wrote down 1 over x, like, oh, this looks like the hyperbola, right? Well, we just did better than saying the picture looks like it. We just proved it. That's the derivative that we've been searching for, okay? Strange, huh? But all we did was we just looked at an exponential from a reverse angle, and that just gave us logs. The derivative of y equals log x is 1 over x. Let's just write that as a summary. Therefore, if you've got the derivative of log base e of x, what's it equal to? 1 over x. But just be watchful, right? It's not all of 1 over x. Uh, 1 over x, the whole thing, it looks like this. Zoop. Right, we've seen this from last year. Do you remember that? Okay. So this is all of 1 over x. I don't want all of it. Which part do I want? Yeah, just the positive part. This part over here. So normally the way we say it, do you remember a couple of lessons ago I talked about domain restrictions? So there's a domain restriction on this. You can put it in like curly braces like this. We would say it's just the positive part. X is greater than zero and you're done, okay? So this result here, it just kind of, it's like a new key that unlocks a whole bunch of doors. We've just been looking at exponentials now, but everything with a log in it, we can also work with.